Mother Earth is only 71% water, and only 3% of that is fresh. Although we are quite literally surrounded by water, it can be tough to grasp the fact that fresh water is a luxury rather than an infinite resource, which puts a certain pressure on finding new methods of obtaining it. On Avocet, our water tanks are fiberglassed into the hole. During our galley refit, we inspected the tanks, which we discovered had about 30 gallons of unreachable water since the spigots were too short. Although the water didn't taste fishy due to our various filters, it sure looked fishy with some soft growth on the inside. On a mission to improve our freshwater system, we were eager to try something new. Acuva is a water filtration company that uses UV light to purify water. UV disinfection kills harmful microorganisms by disrupting their DNA, leaving them unable to perform vital cellular functions, meaning you get squeaky clean water every time. So we actually have three water filters on Avocet. We have one external, which is a 20 micron filter, which gets rid of particulates before the water even goes into the tank. So this is our 20 micron filter. Chris built this because after he spent hours and hours of his time refinishing our water tanks, he wanted to make sure that any water we put into our boat was not going to grow any algae or any other weird things. Inside the boat, we have a 0.5 micron filter as well as a carbon filter, which gets rid of any chlorine. And that's before the water even fills our glass. So although our water already smells clean, tastes clean, and looks clean, how clean is it? Using these test strips, I'm gonna test the water at every stage of our filtration system. First using a control group just to see how dirty the water is before the filtration, then at the first filtration, second filtration, and finally using our brand new UV water filter. So I'm gonna do the first test, which is right out of the marina tap. And we already know that the water in Ventura is very hard and has a lot of buildup. So I'm curious to see where else it scores on this test sheet. According to the directions, I dunk it in and remove it rapidly. While we're waiting for this to develop, let's test the first stage of the filtration system. So we have the two test strips here. This is our control. So directly out of the tap, let's see how it lines up. The back side of this has all of the things we're testing for. Like we said, we knew that the water was hard. And as you can tell, we were correct. But what we didn't know was how alkaline the water was. It's pretty on par. Um, looks like there's a lot of chlorine as well. But as we mentioned, that's actually okay because it keeps growth from happening in our tanks. This is the first stage of the filtration system right after it comes out of the 20 micron filter. It looks like the pH is a little bit lower. Everything else is pretty on par. There is a little bit less chlorine after the first filtration. So let's take this experiment inside and see how it holds up with the other two filters. Now we're inside the boat and going to test the water out of the tap. Time for the moment of truth. How clean is the water that we've been drinking the past two years? Kind of scared for the results of this one. So what we have here is our three test subjects from the very beginning before it went through a filter in the middle after the first phase, and then after it goes through the internal filters. Now, a lot of the information here is pretty redundant. However, there are some key differences, specifically here in the total alkalinity, as well as down here at the free chlorine. So what we can conclude from this little experiment is our water is pretty darn safe to drink. Now, mind you, geographically, we are here in Southern California, which may not be the nation's cleanest water, but in comparison to other parts of the world, it is still pretty darn clean and we shouldn't take that for granted. Now, as we continue to cruise into different areas, the water is not always going to be safe. It's going to be questionable at times and obviously there's a lot we can do to mitigate the risk of waterborne viruses and diseases and growth and things like that. Um, one of the things is by installing a UV filtration system. 
So today is the day where I finally get to install our Acuva water filter. And this isn't just a normal water filter like a carbon filter or a micron filter. This is actually a UV filter. So this has a UV light inside of its own little housing that the water passes by. And when it's on, it's burning off anything that is less than desirable in your water. I'm really excited about it. Uh, this is not a big unit, so you can't really put this in line with all of our plumbing, like the shower and all that, but you also don't need to have this. It's really just designed for drinking water. The way I'm gonna plumb this in is a little bit different than I think that even a Cuba is used to. I'm actually not gonna put it in with our pressure water system. I'm gonna put it in with a foot pump. And my idea behind that is that if we ever lose power or our pump stops working or anything like that, uh, I still wanna be able to drink water and so a foot pump will always work if we have water. The EQV unit is really cool and special. It's very small, which I like a lot. The actual box is only about this big and it comes with its own faucet too. And the faucet is a smart faucet. So the best part about using that faucet with this system, even though you don't have to, is that the UV light will only be on when that faucet is turned on and off. So it's a very efficient system and only draws, I think, less than an amp. I'm gonna get to unboxing, Marissa's not here right now, but I'm gonna try to surprise her with this thing being all installed by the time she gets home. Inside this main box here, you have another carbon filter, and this is Acuba's uh, proprietary filter. Your power supply, this is a really nice uh, cord where it actually plugs into the unit and then screws on so it's not gonna accidentally fall off. And then it just have, has a pigtail of a positive and negative for 12 volt right there. And this is it, this is how big the actual UV light is, uh, it's incredibly small, and that means it's really easy to mount places, which I'm really happy about. The way you mount it is really cool. Uh, it's on a DIN rail, so you're gonna put this onto your bulkhead somewhere, and then you can just slot this thing in like that, and boom, you can put it on your wall uh, really easy and fast. Uh, this is where I have both of our foot pumps. I have one for salt water, and I have one for the new water filter. Uh, so we have clean drinking water and I don't have to run a pump. This setup right here, this is the salt water one and this is the new uh, fresh water pump. I'm gonna tee into the water right after it comes out of our manifold from our port and starboard tank. Uh, it goes through a 20 micron filter right off the bat and then it goes straight into this pump. And then from this pump, I'll plumb it into the carbon acuta filter and then it'll go into the UV filter. And then finally, it'll go up to the smart faucet. So. There's definitely a lot of connections to be made, but everything is connected with PEX and I'm very happy about that. So hopefully I shouldn't have to touch any of this stuff again once I put it in. So here is my water system. This is port tank and this is the starboard tank. So I'm gonna grab the water feed before it gets to the pressure water because if this thing dies or whatever the reason, uh, I'll be able to pull water still and not have it be pressurized. Again, this is straight from the tanks. This is gonna go to the foot pump now. So now we have water all the way to this pump. Now comes the fun part, I actually get to put the Acuva unit in. Acuva ships with all quarter inch pecs, which I really like because it's the best way to connect hose in a boat. However, our boat isn't like that. It's all hose and it's all half inch hose. So I had to make a little adapter it goes from half inch hose to a barb fitting and then this is actually a little piece of pex in the middle which is half inch pex that half inch pex gets converted to quarter inch right here and this has a little valve on it so i can shut off the water if i want to replace a carbon filter or what have you i'm about to drop this thing it a lot nice dip in the floor just like that Put it in. So there it is. That's the actual UV light installed. Again, nice and out of the way. The trash goes in right underneath this pipe. So the fact that that's up and out of the way, it's so small, it just fits like a glove. So now all I gotta do is mount this charcoal filter, which I think I'm gonna put right about here. the quarter inch PEX that uh, supplies all of the connections from the Acuva unit. So this goes right into the bottom of this filter right here. 
plug it into the bottom and push up and you can feel it kick in and boom, that's all it takes. All right, now that I have all of the filters down there installed, it's time to put the faucet in. Uh, we actually have a really great spot for it right on the right side of our main faucet. So we put the wire in first. It already comes with a little um, gasket on the bottom of the base, so you don't have to worry about getting water down underneath the sink. This guy sinks down just like that. And then it has a spacer, just like this. I had to modify mine slightly because we have a pretty thick counter. So I had to cut mine in half and make uh, this little divot a little longer, but nonetheless, they supply you with a spacer that allows for the little wire to pop out before you actually put on this piece right here. So I'm gonna put this on now. I wish I could show you guys what I'm doing here, but most of it's way out of the way. <laughs> I have to get nice and comfy with this counter. You can see it actually kind of resembles our faucet right here. We weren't trying to do that, but it just works out. So there you go. It's nice and installed. It has a swiveling uh, neck on it, so that can go out of the way when you don't want it and put it in the way when you do want it. Uh, and then this is just your on and off here. Apparently this base glows when it's actually on, but I don't have power to it. That's next. Just like that, it's all wired up. So just like that, all the plumbing is done. You can see it's nice and concise and really clean. I like the way they designed this unit. Uh, it's made to just be really out of the way and very small. So right now is the first test. So if everything goes right, I should turn the faucet on and push on the foot pedal and there should be a blue light that comes on down there. And I got water and I see that I have a blue light. So it looks like it works. Naturally, even though this was a very small project and I tackle it pretty quickly, I still have to take almost every tool out in the boat. So I'm gonna put all this crap away. It is working and nothing's leaking, so I'm just gonna leave it right now. I wanna have the boat clean when Marissa gets home. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hi. 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 How's it going? Good, what's going on? I did something today. What'd you do? Why don't you look at the sink? You installed it! Oh my gosh, it actually looks so good! Okay, so when we first unboxed it, we were very concerned that the stainless steel faucet would clash with our rubbed bronze look that we have going on here. But now that it's installed, it actually looks really good. It looks like it's supposed to be there. That's awesome! Yay! So Wanna try it? Oh, I like the light. Like it's so cool. So now that it's installed, can we test the water again to like check it out? Yes, absolutely. It's really clean. Like I thought our water was clean to begin with because of how many filters we have, but this is this is cleaner. Like hang on. It definitely has like a taste to it. I don't know what the taste is, but there is taste present in this one. And this one is... Tasteless. Just more like, more crisp, more clean. I don't know how to describe it because they both taste clean and they both taste like good water, but this one just tastes better. So we have the test results and you know, a lot of it, it looks pretty close so that's good to know that our triple filtered water filter is actually still clean but the Acuba is just a little bit better. Total alkalinity is a lot better with the Acuba. So the Acuba water filter is more alkaline. It gives you more alkaline water. Unfortunately neither of these are a water softener and Ventura water is very harsh so it's basically maxed out on the harshness. Since we're in California, we don't get to see the full benefits of the UV system just because the water is already pretty clean besides being heavily chlorinated. However, when we do sail to some more questionable areas, we're very confident that the system will still provide us with clean, crisp, delicious water. So really happy to have this system on board. It's small, it's efficient, and it just works. So excited to use it in future cruising. Thank you, Acuva, for sending us this incredible unit. It has been great testing it. I hope that you all enjoyed watching this and got a little science out of it too. Thank you for inspiring me to buy a water test kit. I'm gonna be using this everywhere now. So um, with cool. that said, 
Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye.